Aloha Mind Math is imparted by certified and qualified teachers who aim to provide a fun-filled and interactive learning environment. The kids are so bright compared to their parents, and that makes the parents also happy to see their kids are much better than them. All together, a, a good program for brain development, helping with their concentration. It also takes a lot of determination at the end, and then when, once they have the determination, it builds up their confidence. Really, overall, it's about their academic performance. They feel good about it and uh, just have a good time today. Children enthralled the audience with their learnings through live demos featuring complex problems being solved in seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, minus seven, plus eight, plus four, plus six, plus four, plus two, Minus one, plus two, plus five, plus six, minus two, plus three, plus one, minus four, plus four, plus eight, minus two, plus nine, minus three. Sixty-one. The next set of numbers she will be calculating would be multiplication two by two, okay? Six two four nine. Seven one five. Wow, amazing. Well, now you 
Everyone can get notification. Three digit, five, three digit. One nine nine six two nine. One eight four three three eight. Seven four seven. Three hundred seventy five. With the parents seeing the demonstration of skills firsthand, it was now time to announce the winners and champions of the day. Results were ready and then announced on stage with trophies given to first and second runner-ups in all categories. Top scorer in each category was pronounced champion. In all, there were four champions. It's over. I'm, I'm relieved finally it's over, but it's great and uh, kids enjoy it, parents enjoy it. We know there's going to be 32 winners. There are, there are 10 levels and uh, in each level there are categories, in each category there are winners. So we know there's going to be 30 winners, but out of 1,000 kids, uh, 30 winners it's, and then 4 champions. That's how we are going to we evaluate and bring them up. Uh, they're very happy. They have done a lot of hard work and, um, and finally achieving it is great. And we also repeatedly tell the kids and parents, we, we know when they start the practice for the competition, we note down what they are doing. And when they are ready for the competition, we note what they are doing. They are, 
double or triple their skill over the period and we tell them that is what the winner is and then of course in any competition there's going to be one winner there's going to be set of winners but then every one who participated and practiced and tried is a winner and uh, every parent aware of it they know where they started where they ended and they appreciate uh, what what kids have done as a practice itself I like Aloha and it's made me a really smart kid. Uh, feeling deep inside me told me that I was going to win. You know, Aloha is really fun, exciting, and it's mad and stuff. And I knew I was maybe going to win first or second place. I feel great. Actually, I thought I was going to win. When I did the test, like, that was like my best time I did it, but after I practiced. I won. I'm so happy. I'm happy that I got the first place winner. I got winner last year and this year. I love it. It's like a great um, sport and thing I love. Well, I worked really hard. Um, I got first runner up. I didn't expect that that, that much. I thought I was going to get second runner up. I'm very excited. My mom used to wake me up at actually 6.30 in the morning just to practice. I was always aiming for the championship, but I was, I'm still happy that I got the winner. I didn't expect it at all because after the second and first runner-up, I thought, that's it, I'm not going to get the winner. It was really unexpected that I would win a championship and a uh, winner. Uh, I didn't know I would win, but when I won, I was really shocked. And I was kind of expecting it because I worked so hard and trained for it. I feel so happy that I won. When I first took it, the test, I was really nervous that I wasn't going to win. But out of um, out of suspense, I got um, first runner-up. And I'm really excited that I got it because last year I did it. I love Aloha and it made me like one of like third or fourth best in my class in math. It was like such a shock when my dad's like, Nikita, you won, you won. I'm like, wow. I'm happy that I won Aloha because it's made me first in my class. I'm proud of myself. It was like so unexpected. I actually won winner and championship and we all worked together and helped each other, motivate each other to win and we all did. We love Aloha. Very nice to see so many people coming for a healthy competition like this. Little by little, every day, it will definitely they will get something better out of this experience. I really feel proud of him. You know, when they grow up, definitely this build up everything for them. Everything will be better. I want to be a scientist. I, mean, I would want her to be a doctor. Yeah, me too. There was the other day she said, me I too. want to be a waitress, though. No, <laughs> oh, he has a lot of dreams. I don't know. I want to be a lawyer. Because I want to help people get a lot of money. I want to be a magician. I want to be a doctor. Computer engineer, a lawyer, an astronomer, a regular doctor. I'm surprised. At home, she wants to be a chef or a beautician, so I was kind of surprised. A pediatrician, a nurse, a teacher, a um, gynecologist. She has this business plan to become a scientist, make crystals, and make money. Um, thank you very much for everybody, all the children who came and prepared and participated, all the parents who have come all the way, they came from different parts of US, different states, uh, a lot of people have come previous day and look at the facility and see there is what, so that's very great, that kind of an involvement is, is very great, there is 80 franchises, almost 60 of them per year, and um, uh, they have a lot of work, some of them um, just stepped in in different roles and when they see there's a need they just have to take it I, I have to thank them and then all our teachers uh, they work really really hard to prepare the children and they are here they came at 8 o'clock this morning and the uh, event is just getting over at 5 so um, I thank everybody uh, who been here to help us out to make it a grand success